What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, DN Duel Commentary. <laughs> this is hilarious. These two have actually played three times directly in a row, and I think i am just uploaded a game with these two. Uh, it's Giga Bear at the top, 1733 playing Infernity. Watt Giraffe at the bottom, play, uh, 1736 playing his Thunder Family. The last duel was hilarious. I should have recorded it. <laughs> Anyways, Watt Giraffe is talking bad shit. Um... Now again, I believe that uh, most decks have a huge advantage if they go first against Infernity. Uh, however, game one, if Infernity goes first, I, I believe it is the only deck in the format that literally goes off with a 95% like ratio if you have a good deck. And I've seen Giga Bear's build, it goes off 95% of the time, maybe even more. So Wild Giraffe opens up with uh, Thunder Seahorse. He gets two Sis Thunder, and he knows what he's playing against, so he has to load up on traps. Uh, Sis Thunder obviously is going to banish the, um, she obviously banishes the Seahorse. It goes right back to the hand. She is out there a little naked, but she's got three cards to protect her. So, you might see a lot of caps. I, I highly suggest reading the dual chat. It's going to be hilarious. So, Giga Bear starts off kind of slow. He has Artfiend Eris. He decides to just attack her. Um, maybe he was looking at, <laughs> maybe he was looking at trying to bait out a card. Um, Giga Bear sets a card. It is immediately MST'd, which is an MST. Watt Giraffe plays Thunder Seahorse again. I guess he does not plan on special summoning this entire game. I really think he doesn't. Although, if he has Watt Giraffe, he can technically kill this up. Oh, that's what he's doing. He can kill this motherfucker, and it will not activate. And that's exactly what he's going to do. So he goes plus. Uh, Archfiend Eris does not activate. And that's why it maybe it was a little bit of a liability putting it out there. Uh, Giga Bear is looking in his deck. It won't activate. <laughs> oh, I was like, you cheat. <laughs> yeah, so uh, no effects can be activated. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they are. Uh, I, I think Giga Bear might be scooping it up. So anyways, yeah. Um, disregard the fact that he's adding Archfiend to his hand. That motherfucker right here, Archfiend Eris, does not trigger. So I don't expect them to go on the full troll mode into game three. He just put Archfiend on top of his deck like a boss. Okay, so he shuffles him up. Wild Giraffe um, sets another card. The game state is, okay, you see Giga Bear activates Allure Darkness. And he's probably going to banish, I don't know, like a monk or something. He banishes Kage de Kage, which I didn't even know he main decked. And then he goes for 10 Goldfish. He's going to try and activate the effect. He does. For Street Patrol. You just know he's going to exit on night. I wonder if he has like a lance or something like that to where he could essentially get this through. So, I would imagine, I mean, he's going to go for an XC. Let's count him up right quick. He has four on his side if he exceeds. His opponent has one, two, three, four, five, eight. Okay, so, <clears throat> he runs into a Trap Trick Chapel Nightmare. That's unfortunate for Exiton. He won't get, he won't get what he wants. And you wonder if Giga Bear has any type of responses. He plays Foolish Burial. Which means he has to have soul charge. If he didn't have if he didn't have soul charge or a way to get back his monsters, he just would have scooped. So he plays um, Foolish Burial on Archfiend. Oh wow, he totally doesn't have soul charge. This is my shocked face. He's looking in his deck for what reason? I don't know. Okay, there it is. There's soul charge. I knew he had soul charge. I was just I was wondering why he didn't activate it first. I mean, go soft cheating, right? <laughs> So anyways, he goes uh, Street Patrol, uh, Goldfish, Eris, Archfiend, uh, Eris in defense. I mean, with Infernities, you go Hammer, not. And he's going for uh, Exos on Knight as well. So he goes for the full shebang, five monsters. Um, the problem is, he needs to get rid of this guy. Because uh, Watt Giraffe can do a lot of damage. And it looks like he's blasted with Torrential Tribute. And <laughs> okay, um, so here's what's gonna happen Archfiend is going to resolve, and then uh, Archfiend's gonna activate, and then so is um, Archfiend Eris, I believe. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, that wait, wait, would that, would that be how it resolves? Or, well, I mean, Archfiend Eris is optional, so huh, I'm not exactly sure how that would resolve. Because Torrential Tribute would happen first, right? Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Okay, I guess 
I guess at the time that Archfiend tries to resolve, you don't have a card in hand technically. So okay, that that makes sense that you can act that you can resolve both of them. All right, so Eris gets Archfiend. Uh, he's going to banish uh, Street Patrol to summon Archfiend, and now the game has been simplified. Even though Wild Giraffe has five cards, you can fight you can fight five cards with Infernity. Now is when he basically wants to level up and go for you know like go ham. So I'd imagine he's going to search Necromancer and then he's going to dump it in the graveyard with Launcher and then he's going to Launcher them both back. And there is when you start getting breaks and shit like that. Okay. Oh no, he's going to Diamond Dire Wolf first. He's going to go Diamond Dire Wolf. He's going to pop this face down to, to simplify the game even. Oh, never mind. Let me shut up. He goes for Lavalvo Chain. I was going to say, if that's an MST and he Diamond Dire Wolfs it, that is bad news for realsies. So he goes for Lavalvo Chain. Now he only has 400 light points, but I've said it once and I'll say it again. Uh, with Infernity, you basically are saying to your opponent, you will not get at my life points ever again. So it doesn't matter if I have one life point, that's all I need to win. Well, unless you wanted to play Brain Control back in the day, but, you know, that's beyond the point because that card is banned. So he goes Street Patrol, and he's probably going to banish it to summon Necromancer. <clears throat> and I'm wondering what the holdup is. Okay, so that's what he does. He banishes Street Patrol for Necromancer. I think he's, he's trying to make this play maybe as safe as possible. And Necromancer gets an Archfiend. Now again, he plays Soul Charge, so he cannot, he cannot, what's it called? He cannot attack this turn. Now he plays, uh, he plays, uh, Infernity Launcher now. I mean, again, it would have been a great time for an MST. MST and Wide Draft would have won. He gets Necromancer and Archfiend. Now is when you start searching for your defensive cards. He grabs Barrier, excuse me, Break, which he's going to set. I think you might even think about making, um, what's it called? Okay, so now you make Diamond Dire Wolf, which hits recharging batteries. <clears throat> and now he reborns his Archfiend with one of the Necromancers, which should get him, what, another break? Okay, he gets Barrier, whatever. He doesn't have an Archfiend banished, does he? I was thinking maybe about his, um... About his uh his his graveyard and maybe if he wanted to uh, exceed for uh, levy or whatever, he doesn't. But he's pretty much gambling it on a break and a launcher, or a break and a barrier. Okay, so Ma Thunder comes down. He activates the effect. Looks like on summon. That Giga Bear is going to respond with something. Okay, so he uses break on it. Um, wait a minute. If he gets Wild Giraffe, won't he just win? Okay. Guess not. So he plays Pod Duality for Compose, um, Fiendish Chain. I didn't see the, la the last card. Was that another, was that another, what's it called? Was that another, um, Duality? Let me just read you right quick. Once per turn, you can normal summon, uh, level 4 Light Thunder Monster, except for, what's it called? In addition to your normal, as an additional normal summon. Okay. <clears throat> oh no, it was Soul Charge. Alright, that was the card. You obviously don't want that because you can't even use it this turn. So it looks like he's going to take Compose Evacuation Device. He's going to put Soul Charge back in his deck. And he's going to put Fiendish Chain back in his deck. And I wonder what else he has. He needs to shuffle him up. Maybe he didn't have Watt Giraffe, obviously. And that's maybe why he didn't use his second summon. Because that effect of, of Ma Thunder, it's not technically negated. It's just, you know, it's destroyed on summon. But as long as it hits the field, it should get its additional summon. So I was thinking, if he gets Watt Giraffe, all you have to do is just attack directly and win. You can't bury your Watt Giraffe's effect. Alright, so he's going to Mind Control. This is interesting. He goes for Mind Control on Lavalvo Chain. I'm wondering to use what? Okay, so he detaches. He's looking in his deck. I wonder what effect he's even going to use. Okay, so he's going to put Wild Giraffe on top. And then he passes back and he sets, um, I guess, Evac. The question is, Wild Giraffe still has to get through an Infernity Break. And I don't know if he can do that. Yeah, because he, he gets another Necromancer. 
Or he gets another Archfiend off Necromancer. He has two of them. He gets a second break. And then he's just going to set it. I imagine he's going to attack. I mean, I would just... I'd push it to the limit right now. I would exceed... Uh, yeah, I would exceed. And then I would go for um my Street Patrol. I would exceed for Levier. I would get my Street Patrol. And I'd try and do as much damage as possible. Especially if you really believe that this phase down is a um, composed evacuation device. And you already have barriers. So it's like... I mean, you have the damage. We have the technology, people. Although I don't think you can still... I, I still don't think you can OTK, but... You can make your opponent burn the evac and then just use break on their monster. I mean, that's what that's what I say. <laughs> so I'm wondering what, wonder what Giga Bear is thinking about. Oh, he activates Upstart Goblin. I don't, I don't know why he did that. What if you draw a monster? I mean, well, no, I guess you can exceed at any time, so it doesn't matter if you draw a monster or not. I don't know about using the evac, though. I mean, what if, well, what if that's an MST set? That could be a problem. What if it's an MST set, right? And he goes MST on your break. And then he has, like, another MST in hand. I mean, I guess that's highly unlikely, but I'm just saying it, it is a possibility. That's That's all I'll say. But if I was Giga Bear, no way, he can't have two MSTs. That's dumb. <laughs> he duality for Compulse. But, I mean, what I would do is, again, I would make, I'd make uh, Levier using the two Necromancers. And then I would, um, I would attack with everybody. And then, well, I would actually, off the Levier, I would get Street Patrol. Okay, so... He decides to levy a necromancer. I think he's just gonna normal summon it. Okay, so that's what he does. He just normal summons it, and it's bad news for for uh, Watt Giraffe right now. And that's what I thought he should have did the whole time. You just go into Levier, you get Street Patrol, and you just attack with everybody, and. Your opponent has 8,800, but you could just break a face down or whatever, and you can just go into Cowboy. So, okay. Yeah, and even if you didn't, like, even if he composed a Cowboy, which you could bury her anyway, I mean, I just don't see any way that, that he would have lost. So, uh, Giga Bear takes game one with Infernity. That didn't seem like it required a lot of thinking to me. Compulse or no Compulse? It just seemed like if he used Compulse, all you had to do was just use Break. Or excuse me, all you had to do was just use barrier, and then you could just, you know, attack with everybody and do cowboy for game. And that was before he played upstart, which I wouldn't have even played anyway. I just would have uh, left upstart set because then you wouldn't have actually even needed to um, to make the cowboy in main phase two. You could have just attacked with everybody for game. So we're gonna see what uh, we're gonna see what it does. Obviously, white giraffe will be taking first. And there's some crazy tech that Giga Bear side decks. I want to see if maybe he hits some of his tech. And now the trash talking begins. Why Giraffe says, I'm better than you because I got a higher rating. <laughs> oh, Lord. I think my rating is probably somewhere around there. I think I was like, at one point, I was in the low 1600s. I think I'm like 1732 right now or something like that. I don't know. I'm usually somewhere in the 1700s. So, I'm trying to think of what Wild Giraffe will side deck in. Um, I know in the last game, he played a bunch of maxis. Um, I think that he likes to go Fiendish Chain over Breakthrough Skill, which is, I mean, Fiendish Chain is still a fine card. I just, I don't like that it can be MST'd. That, that's one of the, the problems that I have with it. Um, and then, there's something else he might side deck, he might side in. He runs a lot of uh of trap trick nightmares in the main deck. I think I want to say he runs two in the main deck. That's a really good card though. So I, I I will admit I do like that. And they're doing some serious trash talking, and the caps lock is getting abused. So, anyways, duel two is now about to commence. What giraffe will be taking first? Once again, this is Thunder Family versus Infernity. I would say player one or whoever goes first has a huge advantage in this duel. This isn't like Gear Gear versus Hat where 
uh, going first or second is not as important. I mean, it, this is very important. You see an XC here. I wonder if he's going to go for Giant Hand right off the bat. Nope, he goes for Omega and then goes for M7. Which is really good if you have a Fat Veiler. If you go like turn one um, M7 and you have like a Fat Veiler, it's really, really good. <clears throat> so he sets three in the back row and then passes turn. Again, if this is Maxi or Veiler, that's really, really good. Now he does have to be able to survive it and he uses Maxi <laughs> immediately. He uses Maxi on the Monk and then he do another Maxi. <laughs> No, he's, he's not out of the woods yet. He is going to exit Zodnitum. Okay, maybe not. He ditches uh, Eris. Wait a minute. Will you, will you trigger Eris? If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect. I think Eris will trigger, won't it? Okay, I guess he's not going to trigger Eris. He goes for exit Knight. Obvious play. Which is going to get Watt Giraffe a draw. It falls into Trap Tricks Trap on Nightmare. Oh, that game's over. <laughs> That game's over, and Wild Giraffe knew he had it because when Exiton Knight dead, um, there there was no way for Giga Bear to come back. He would have had to have Soul Charge, and he would have uh, it wouldn't have mattered because Wild Giraffe would have kept on drawing anyway. In addition, any situation where M7 lives is going to get uh, it's going to get Giga Bear another copy of um, it would have gotten him another copy of uh, Max C straight from the graveyard. So M7 for the win there. I was I wasn't sure if he was going to have Max C or Valor, but Either one looks like it got the job done. So Giga Bear opens up with a set, and I mean, if you're Wild Giraffe, you're like, yes, <laughs> you didn't go off. There's that, there's that five percent I was talking about. Infernity goes off ninety-five percent of the time, but this is one of the times it. Oh, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> I gotta see what the chat is saying about this. <laughs> oh my God, he opened up with the super nuts. Oh Lord. Not only does he have Mermilio to get him a Trap Tricks Nightmare, but then he has Kaiser Seahorse to thin his deck, and he has Maxi. Fucking God! This is going to be incredible. So he attacks a face down Necromancer. 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 Okay, it's not Necromancer. It's uh, Street Patrol. Street Patrol dies. He has, remember, he has Maxi and he has a free Nightmare. So this is going to be crazy. I, I was just wondering to see if the chat was going as, as, as nuts as I was. <clears throat> it looks like Giga Bear. It's just going to set a card. Uh-oh. Yep, here comes White Giraffe. White Giraffe is just going to do his White Giraffe thing. He attacks. He attacks the face down. Remember, this card can't activate. Oh, shit. Giga Bear just leaves. <laughs> that was crazy. Sorry, Infernity. You have just been too old by... He's just been too old now. Thank you guys for watching.